Welcome to Ischemic Stroke Concept Map from Zoom Out Pharmacotherapy. This video shows you how to read the map and how information is linked to each other. The map starts by the warning signs of stroke, which result from sudden loss of blood circulation to an area of the brain. Once the patient reaches the emergency department, diagnostic procedures are done to exclude other causes of neurologic deficit and to establish the type of stroke, whether it is ischemic or hemorrhagic. An essential part of diagnosis is to identify time of onset of stroke for deciding if the patient is eligible for thrombolytic therapy and to identify the risk factors in order to determine secondary preventive measures Ischemic stroke is caused mainly by cerebral artery occlusion, which occurs due to one of the following three mechanisms, either thrombotic occlusion, embolism, or systemic hypoperfusion. You'll find links between the modifiable risk factors and these mechanisms. For example, atherosclerosis as a risk factor for ischemic stroke may cause atherosclerotic thrombosis or embolism. Modifiable risk factors of stroke should be considered for primary as well as secondary prevention of ischemic stroke. Treatment of ischemic stroke includes supportive care, pharmacological treatment, and non-pharmacological treatment. Regarding pharmacological treatment, it includes mainly thrombolysis using the fibrinolytic agent alteplase, then antithrombotic therapy using antiplatelet drugs and anticoagulants. For patients with acute stroke without cerebral venous sinus thrombosis who are presented within four and a half hours and have no contraindication to thrombolysis, aleteplase is the first choice. However, for those who are presented after four and a half hours or have contraindications to thrombolysis, aspirin is the first choice. And for acute stroke with cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, full dose anticoagulation treatment with heparin, then warfarin is recommended. Antithrombotic therapy also plays a role in secondary prevention of ischemic stroke. In case of non cardioembolic stroke or transient ischemic attack, antiplatelet therapy is recommended for secondary prevention. But in case of cardioembolic stroke, warfarin is used instead. Low-dose subcutaneous unfractionated or low-molecular weight heparin have a role in prophylaxis against deep pain thrombosis and pulmonary embolism that usually threaten immobilized stroke patients. Anticoagulants should be used with high consideration to the potential risk of bleeding as an adverse effect of these agents. Non-pharmacological therapy including carotid and arterectomy or carotid angioplasty and stenting are considered for secondary prevention for selected patients with carotid artery stenosis. Back to alteplase for more details. Alteplase is a fibrinolytic agent that causes breakdown of blood clot and restoration of blood supply to the brain, resulting in resolution of neurologic deficits. 
However, hyperfibrinolytic effect of all TPAs may cause hemorrhage, which is manifested as systemic hemorrhage or intracranial hemorrhage. Accordingly, ischemic stroke patient should be monitored for the signs of hemorrhage and managed as needed. The patient should also undergo neurological assessment and blood pressure measurement. CT scanning should be done in case of suspected hemorrhage and 24 hours before starting anticoagulants or antiplatelet agents in order to avoid risk of bleeding. This was an overview of ischemic stroke concept map. For more about ischemic stroke and other diseases, please visit www.zoomout-ph.com. Thank you.